What the hell are the old gods? Are they just trees? Is that fireball shooting kid an old god? What about that really lazy old dude with vines growing around him? If you've ever wondered the answers to these questions, sit tight, because I got answers. First of all, the old gods is a pretty vague term in the context of what we believe gods to be. While the South worships seven aspects of a single religion, each entity supernatural and outside everyday life, the North worships gods that are woven into nature. It's basically paganism. The religion is said to have been adopted by the First Men, having been taught it by the children of the forest, small magical creatures who share a deep connection with nature. The children were in fact so in tune with their surroundings that it's said their natural tongue sounds like stones in a river or wind through the leaves, imitating what they heard every day. So it makes sense that their gods too would exist in the woods and rivers and earth around them. The gods may not have names, but they do have faces. The children took to carving faces in their weirwood trees. It's said that this gave the gods eyes to see the world around them. These faces were also used by green seers, basically as Skype. They could look at the world through any other set of weirwood eyes. That is, until the Andals came and cut down almost all of them. For now, it seems like the child and the old man we met at the end of Season 4 have some kind of connection to the magics of the old gods, but it has yet to be revealed how deep that connection is or what it means to boring Bran Stark.